Hi guys, we're back with my RV remodel and today I'm going to attempt to roll the new carpet out onto the floor. We've got to do some vacuuming here first and uh, we've already ripped the old carpet out and we went to a place called Bob's Carpet Mart in Tampa and they actually matched our or sketched our design out of the carpet layout when we took it in there to them and they've already cut it for us and put the seams on the edge. So can't wait to get that down see how it looks you'll be joining me today as we take a look at the renovation Guys, it's looking really good. It smells like a new house in here with the new carpet down. Seems like they cut it. it has a pretty good fit there. Now it's sticking up a little bit here because I've got mounting bolts for the dinette. And there's some seatbelt mounting bolts down there. So the carpet is lifting up. It's got this nice edging that they sewed on here for us it matches pretty well to the tile yeah pretty nice fit like a sand color I don't know if you can make it out in the uh, video there there's not a lot of light in here today all right guys carpet is down and I think I'm going to attempt this and that's replacing this greenish brown wallpaper here and first I'm gonna have to uninstall these window valance uh, casings all the way down this is the wallpaper that we chose new wallpaper peel and stick and it's got like a woven pattern looks pretty neat so let me get started on this first section I'm gonna remove this uh, casing around the window All right guys, I had to take a time out and go get some more tools. These are the tools if you're gonna install this self-stick or peel and stick wallpaper, I believe you're gonna need. And I think it's gonna go a lot quicker and faster for me now. I needed some, you know, plastic uh, knives to get in there. It wouldn't be real sharp, but just to uh, get into the corners and make sure that it's adhered to the wall properly. I needed a square for 
marking lines and cutting and a smaller level and also a nice sharp utility knife and that should do it for you guys Coming to you live from my RV and I've been doing a little bit of modification remodeling you might say to the RV and I've lightened it up a lot and what I've used here today is this peel and stick wallpaper went up really well I really like how it lightened up this uh, slider pocket here before it looked like you're in a little cave when you sat down in it and notice I don't have the window coverings up right now the balances and stuff I'm gonna make some modifications to those I believe I've got those back here the balances they're all back here stacked up and I think what I want to do is cut the arms or the legs coming down off of them that go down the window sides I want to cut them off shorter and just have the balances at the top section so we'll see how that goes that'll be in the next video or one coming right up all right guys this is how it looks coming up i got this whole uh pocket slider section complete and when you step up here it looks a whole lot brighter notice i even got up above here on that strip above the molding and it brightens it up quite a bit See if you can notice the texture on it. It does have a texture. Cloth texture finish. 
and it's kind of like a sandy gray color and white. Everything worked out well. Even did this section here. Go outside, it feels so good 